What's up YouTube? In today's vid, we're going to dissect my process behind designing the Dia de los Dodgers illustration. The design choices I made and little bite-sized tutorials on how I did them. Batters up! With such a rich history in Latino culture, headlined by the legacy of their amazing pitcher, Fernando Valenzuela, I was tasked to create a piece celebrating the Los Angeles Dodgers connection with their Mexican heritage. After taking a deep dive into Mexico's vibrant history, I landed on the Day of the Dead thematic. Day of the Dead is a holiday of remembrance and celebration two pillars of the ask. When you can develop a thematic to design against, it helps with the intrigue and the storytelling of your design. Next, I had to figure out what style I wanted to design it in. I could stay true to traditional Mexican art. I could reference the awesome street art found around Los Angeles. But because I watch way too much TV and love the show Ink Master, this competition with tons of art styles, I landed on tattoo art. More specifically, the new style form of tattooing. New school is a style filled with thick, heavy outlines and exaggerated features. Think a real bold cartoony style. So to start, I needed a concept. To play off the Day of the Dead thematic, I obviously needed to bring a skull into the mix. At first, I thought about creating a sugar skull with baseball ornamental drawings on it, but I decided against it. Typically, my style is a little bit more clean and simplistic. So I ended up gearing out my skull with an LA Dodgers baseball cap and a ball in its mouth. Then I moved my concept onto the computer, utilizing rough outlines and line work to give me a place to start tweaking and finessing. To play within the new school style, I made the sockets perfect circles and exaggerated the skull's jaw. This gives the skull that much more cartoony look than what you might see on the flag of a pirate ship. Now to push the new school style a bit further, I started utilizing bold outer strokes and varied my line weight a little bit. To create a bold path around your artwork, select all the pieces, group those together using Command G, and then paste them to the top of your layout, basically just making copies of all your pieces. Then head over to your Pathfinder tool and click the Unite button. And what this does is it kind of merges all of the shapes together. Then fill in all the gaps by direct selecting random points and deleting them until you have one solid shape. You're gonna throw that sucker to the back of your artboard by right clicking, clicking Arrange, and choosing Send to Back. And then we use a tool I use all of the time. You're gonna go to Object, Path, and then Offset Path. And when you click preview, you can continually adjust your offset path until it's exactly the way you want it. So definitely click on preview. This works much better than enlarging it so that your outline is perfectly proportioned on all sides. Here, this is what that would look like. Yeah, we don't like that. To finesse your line thickness and taper your line, simply click on the line you want to affect, head over to your stroke panel, and here you can change the profile of your line to taper kind of wherever you please. And I really think that helps to stylize your piece and up the professionalism quite a bit. So with that, we have the base of our artwork. But it still seemed a bit flat to me, so I created shading layers to give the piece more depth. I really think this helped bring the eyes and the mouth forward a little bit. You'll notice that many sports logos actually utilize this kind of shading. Next, well, the obvious. I changed the color of the hat to be less vibrant and more in line with the club's actual colors. I also shrunk up the hat to fix the proportions to the skull. It was getting a little bucket hatty, and now it fits much better on the head. And speaking of finessing, we changed up the ball stitching, and to push the concept a bit more, I threw in some bone baseball bats to create the crossbones. And yeah, there you have it. My Dia de los Dodgers skull. I definitely had fun with it and I challenge you to go make your own design in this kind of new school style. I think it's pretty fun. Dabbling in different art styles helps you bridge the gap from being a one trick art director into a very multifaceted designer. So stay uncomfortable. I appreciate you for watching this little sneak peek of my process. If you like videos like this, like and comment on the video and let me know. I really take all of your feedback and comments to heart when deciding what videos to make for the channel. I hope they help. Until next time, play ball.